Hello everyone and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. In this video we will be talking about the Scratch timeline and what makes it so special and why these slots that we can see here are there and what function they have. So let's go ahead and import a couple of clips and as you can see clips are imported one after another and we can look at them in this storyboard kind of view. Uh, there is so far no, not really an indication uh, as to how long each clip is, uh, apart from the numbers down here. So if we want to see that, we have to go to either the edit or the color fix menu where we have all of our clips here uh, in the mini timeline. Now, why are the clips sorted into slots? Well, that's fairly simple. What I can do is stack versions of my clips or versions of my grade, so to speak, uh, vertically. So if I go, let's say, to this clip here, right? Now let me make it simply red, something like this. And now I can add a version over here in the version stack. Add some green to make it more yellow and add another version, reset that and uh, dial down the saturation and the gamma. And now we have that. If I go into range mode and hit play, I can now just switch through all my versions of a grade. The version that's at the bottom is the one that gets rendered out when I render my timeline. Going back to the construct tab here, I can see my three versions here and if I want to render out the red version I'll just grab it, place it here at the bottom and that's it. So these are just two dimensions of our timeline but it has a third one which most people do not even know about. So let me introduce you to staging. If I hit that button, the view changes slightly and now we're in staging and you can look at staging as kind of the Z axis. So that's the dimension going towards the back. Not left, not right, not up, not down, but towards the back. Now what does staging do? Very simple. It holds elements used for a composite that I want to create. Let me create a new timeline and show you what that means. So here I have a bunch of shots uh, and compositing elements and I'll just import them straight away like that. Now as you can see, the first shot here, uh, this one that's the background and these three elements here are supposed to be comped on top of the background. Next shot here I have these two smoke elements, alpha and uh, the, the texture, which are supposed to be comped into this shot. Here I have a shot where I need to do sky replacement and so on. Now, as you can see, uh, we've loaded all these elements one after another here and that, quite frankly, will mess up our timing in our timeline context. So what to do, what to do? Well, um, we can, of course, just place these things as versions like such, right? Put this one up here, this one up here, this one up here this one up here and so on and so on and then remove empty slots and here we have it but quite frankly these compositing elements are also not really versions of our grade aren't they so what we can do is just select them oops no, I don't want to select all of these just these these and these and now we can drag them enable the staging area and drop them in here. And disabling staging, we can just simply delete all those clips from here. They are now in the staging, basically tucked away uh, and stored uh, with reference to the underlying background shot that we have here. And now when we want to do compositing, we can just go to color effects, here's our shot, right? That's the background. Uh, let's quickly grade this a little, something like this, something like this, something like this. And now here on the right side, instead of being in the version stack, we can just go to the staging stack. And here are all the elements that we need to create our composite. So I'll drop that in here. I'll drop him in here and I'll drop that in here. And now I have my layers here. And I can start to composite. Do some Chroma keying here. I'll just make this really quick and dirty. Key the wizard and 
possibly move them over a little bit and maybe push them towards the back. And lastly, here's our green leaves, which I'll also key out and maybe make a little bit smaller, something like this. Okay, and here's our composite. And all the elements needed for the composite are tucked away here in the staging area that I can just access here in the right side stack. And they don't mess up my versions or my timing in my timeline. And these are the three dimensions of the scratch timeline. Hope this tutorial was useful to you and see you next time. Bye.